you guys welcome back thank you guys so much for stopping by i really appreciate it so today you guys i have a Minecraft video for you guys i'm super 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 excited i honestly have not been filming in a while i just recently posted a video about um the restaurant sam southern but today i have a Minecraft video so you guys i'm kind of like getting back into my grind of just youtube social media but also my business and I'm super excited because for me, this is like my baby is still kind of like in the little infant stages and I just want to see it like grow up and take off and soar. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. So I've been thinking like I have all of this inventory, right? And I'm just like, what am I going to do with it? Either am I going to like continue to just sit on it? and still try to you know go with my website and launch that and you know just continue to like figure out new inventory or am i going to change things up so originally before when i was like posting a lot i was like learning how to do cricket um those were a lot of my first videos so like how to do notebooks and how to do tumblers and how to make shirts and then it kind of involved and then i started to like buy actual like products and I was like you know what I can actually make these things um, for custom orders for people and also like make things to actually sell and so I started to do a lot of like custom orders for people which you'll see a few um, I've made some like birthday shirts and just like other little shirts and stuff on my channel I did like a wedding thing for someone before just some other stuff right and so then as time go on i'm like dang i can really like do this i was like let me just come up with like my own little clothing line just like a few shirts and ideas that i just want to sell like on my website sorry and so um i kind of like created this website i had did like a huge like photo shoot i got a professional photographer i made up some designs and shirts and mugs and tumblers and i was like you know i was getting ready for my website to launch that was like my next thing i was working on launching the website but then life happened so all you guys already know i have a girls home too so we're running that we had got super short staff you know things were transitioning um and then my husband you know started his restaurant with my brother and so we were like working on that trying to get everything ready for that and so this business kind of just stopped a little bit but now i'm back and i'm ready to like get back into it and so i've been thinking like okay how do i really want to do this because i still have my website like it's still up it's still like you could literally click on there you can see it but you just can't buy anything right now and so i'm like should i just go and like you know still try to um you know focus on my website and just kind of launch the items that i've already been working on or do i completely just like start over from scratch and so the last few days i'm like i have all this inventory if i just wanted to get rid of it and start over how can i get rid of it and you guys the idea pops into my head to do a freaking pop-up shop i've never in my life ever done one i've seen like different vendors and stuff before but i've never done one and so i was like you know what i'm gonna do it and so right now i'm just trying to figure out like am i gonna do is it just gonna be me or is it gonna be like multiple vendors and so i don't know i'll work out those little details later but I'm so excited. I'm like, I have to make something today, right? I have to craft something. I have to do something. I have to get ready for this pop-up shop that I'm trying to have. So right now, today's date is May, sorry, <laughs> May, June 29th. And so I am trying to have this either together by the end of July or that first weekend in August. So that's kind of where I'm thinking, like give me a few weeks to get all my little stuff done, which I'll show you guys in a sec, um, so that I can do this pop-up shop. You know, I'm gonna have to get like a clothing rack and like banners and all that. And I'm gonna literally walk you guys through it step by step, how I'm gonna do mine. And hey, like if you're out there, there's something you wanna do, you guys should definitely just go for it. So anyways, in today's video, we're just gonna craft a little bit, start making stuff for the pop-up shop. I'm gonna kinda got, like walk you through my little idea. And for like the next few weeks, honestly, I'm just gonna be making content of me getting ready for the pop-up shop. But also, um, you guys will actually see the day of the pop-up shop. And also, 
good news guys my husband and my brother they brought another restaurant and so also here in the next few weeks i'm gonna be having content here and there of the restaurant and then just like kind of preparing and like what they're gonna do with that so you guys i'm gonna have like content coming back to back to back my goal is to at least be able to post at least once or twice a week for you guys it's not gonna be an everyday thing honestly i'm just too busy but that's my goal for right now so you guys just be on the lookout for more videos but yeah i'm super super excited and let's just like jump right in okay you guys so this is kind of like all of my inventory that i have you know, usually before I had like another rack right here, but recently I've kind of like changed some stuff around and I've been like organizing my whole entire um, house. So I've kind of like put everything to one rack just because, um, like I said, I'm trying to revamp. I've been looking into like an embroidery machine, a DTF machine, and I wanted to kind of create some space. So if I get a new machine, I have somewhere to put it. So anyways, I do have like these colored tumblers. I have some mugs here, a few cases of those. I have four boxes of clear tumblers. I have another one right here. I also have these type of bottles as well. I have a few. I have some notebooks, as you can see, like all right here. I have orange, green, blue. And then I have like all of these t-shirts literally going down to the bottom. And so I'm just like, okay, I have all of this inventory. I need to figure out something to do with it. I need to figure out a way to sell it, to move it, to get it out. So we are about to do a pop-up shop. So if you guys have like any ideas or anything you guys think I should um, do or sell, please let me know down in the comments below. Or if you guys have ever done a pop-up shop before, like let me know. I'm very interested, but I am excited and usually when I have an idea, like, I have to just get it done and just kind of see how it goes. And if it works, it works. And if it don't, it don't. So today, I, I was trying to figure out, like, okay, where do I start? Do I start on the tumblers, the mugs, the notebooks, the shirts? Where? And I think I'm going to start with the notebooks. I think that's going to be the most easiest for me. So I've created a few designs, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. And I think I'm just going <sighs> to... I think today I just want to focus on the designs. So usually I kind of um, have a few websites I can go to to create designs or I will create my own. And one of the ones I do use is Cricut Design Space. I pay for that monthly. And so that's kind of where I want to start at right now today is Cricut Design Space. And then I'll kind of um, go to my other websites that I use and see what kind of designs they have there see if I want to use some of those those ones I usually have to pay for but it comes with a license so that I technically once I purchase it I'm able to then go and sell it um and not get like copyright charges or anything like that I'll have the license to go with the design I purchased or like I said at the end of the day if I cannot find what I want in my head I um, will then I'll get on Cricut Design Space as well and I will like play around with different fonts and colors and things like that and I'll kind of design my own customized um, design so I think that's what we're gonna do first okay so this is Cricut Design Space um, this is how I use Cricut Design Space so normally I will just type in a keyword um, I find out that Basically, if you type in a keyword, you usually find more images that way, um, but you can type in like a quote or just different sayings and things will also pop up that way as well. So um, in this particular moment, I typed in the word happy and so I'm just kind of going through um, looking at all the different images and then if I find one I like, I will save it. And so here it's called bookmark and so you'll press it and um, once you're done looking through everything, you can go to all your saved images and you can kind of like go from there and start designing and that's kind of like your starting point so you'll look at all your images and you see what you know you have and then you'll click on the one you want to start to create with and then you can kind of like custom from there whether it's going to go on like you know bags or tumblers or shirts or whatever you want to do with it like that's your starting point
Okay, so I basically got done looking through like all my images um, for that moment. And so here are my bookmarked um, images that I chose. And so I'm kind of just like scrolling through, looking at all the ones I saved and trying to just figure out which one I want to start with first. So um, that's kind of how this works. And then you'll kind of click on it and then you'll go to the design space and from there you can kind of like edit, play around with different colors, move things around and then you can also go there to cut it or print it so that it can go on your blank canvas and that's kind of how you start to create. Um, so after I was looking at all the ones I saved, I decided to go to Smiley Faces. I don't know, it just kind of popped in my head. I know Smiley Faces is a like theme that's going around right now it's kind of on everything so I was just kind of looking on there just to see what I could find and that's kind of how I just ended off my day so you guys this is currently I guess day one of trying to figure out how we're going to do this pop-up shop so I thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video